we don't have chickens or we don't sell eggs at the store. I get that question a lot too. It's kind of a craft mecca, I guess. So if you wanted a craft studio at your home, this would probably be your dream. <laughs> so whatever you want to craft with, we probably have it here on hand. I wanted the space to be inspiring and, and feel, just feel at home. I'm Katie Bierke. I'm owner of Hatchlings and Hens, downtown Cedar Falls. <laughs> Feels so awkward. <laughs> I don't have an art degree. I don't have um, a teaching degree. I have a background in marketing and public relations. And so there was a creative aspect in that job where I did a lot of event planning. And when I had my oldest son, I decided to become a stay-at-home mom. That transition was kind of hard for me. I was going a little nutty at home. <laughs> so having something kind of frilly and girly that I can go to and kind of just immerse myself in is kind of an escape for me, I guess. And I needed that creative outlet that I used to have in my job. So I just started creating things at home. I started teaching myself how to sew and made gifts for friends. I thought, oh, maybe I could do Etsy or sell at some craft shows, but it didn't feel like the craft shows were necessarily the right um, market that I was looking for. And I thought, gosh, you know, wouldn't it be great if we had an Etsy in person where you could come in and it was locally made goods and it was handmade and you could touch it and feel it instead of it all being on a computer screen in front of you. We have kind of two parts to the business. Um, one is the retail side. We carry a lot of handmade goods that are local to the area, so I try to keep it local to Iowa for sure, um, but a good majority of it is Cedar Valley made. I create some of the, the goods that you see. I do a lot of the sewing. I think new stuff is really great. It's fun to have new stuff in your home, but when you can mix in things that have a story and vintage pieces, um, it takes your decorating, I think, to a whole new level and it just adds warmth and character to your homes. I have a nice mix of some vintage items, um, just some quirky finds that you might not see at normal retailers. A lot of our goods are one of a kind that you're not gonna find elsewhere. I wanted that to kind of branch over into the craft studio as well. And a lot of the templates that you see are cut locally. My dad actually does a lot of the cutting of the wood plaques that we have. So I find comfort in knowing that if you purchase something from us and it's a gift for somebody, it's gonna be something that wows them or that they find special. I want it to be different all the time. So, you know, trying to constantly think forward as to what projects I can bring in or what classes I can offer. Um, I don't want somebody to visit, you know, like in October and then think, oh, I did that in October. I don't need to come back in November because I already know what they have. I want it to be different. So I'm constantly researching like new craft projects and new class options and that kind of thing. Um, so I'd like that to just continue to grow and blossom. And I think I've seen it all and then someone will come in and create something that's just totally different and off the wall and I love that. That's really fun. But I would say my family has been the biggest fuel for me and my biggest reason for what I do. It's pretty awesome to walk in here and think, wow, I really, you know, I did this. This is mine. This is my baby. I feel like where I'm at just feels good. It's just, it feels right. It feels like a warm, cozy sweater, you know? It's just, um, it's just, it feels good. <laughs>